right, good morning everybody. Welcome to Thursday. How are you? February 17th, let's see where we go today. Let's see where we go today. I'm not sure how much you're gonna see of me over the weekend just because we're driving, leaving Friday, won't be home till Monday, so there might be a little bit of a break in the action, which is 100% fine, but I just wanted to let you know. All right, so let's see where we go here. When we come, when I get back, I'm gonna be announcing a few new classes, some things with Mary Lee, uh, past life regressions around North Node, which, and Chiron, which I think is super fascinating. So we'll talk more about that on Tuesday or Wednesday in the lives next week. Yesterday we did the lives with everybody Pathfinders and the Wednesday group. So today we won't be doing a noon live Q&A, just so you know. Uh, those are group lives and they are on Zoom. If you want to be part of those groups, you can ask your questions. Sometimes I pull cards around those questions. Uh, really fascinating group of folks. So there's a link below if you want to join Pathfinders or the Wednesday live or both if you want, whatever you want. All right, thus one journeys to the stars. Thus one journeys to the stars. Allow your work to become your art. Amen to that. Ancestor, ooh, the ancestor's popping up. That reminds me, I think um, you will see an ancestor reading. So let's, let's explore that a little bit more while we're, while we're at it, okay? So um, some of you have been asking me about your work for a long time because we talk about North Node quite a bit on this on this channel and it doesn't always mean I'm talking about a, a job title or anything like that but it's like what is your work on this planet and I feel like the ancestors are trying to answer that question for you right now so let's see what we get for the reading if you're somebody who is wondering about that I also thought I might do a series of north node readings um, north node examples somebody asked me a really great question in my last north node class about like well can you show me give me some examples of other people with north nodes in my placement so i think i'm going to do that i think that's i mean it might take me a while but uh, <laughs> to get all of them done but i think that's a really good really good idea so you'll see those too that'll be for when i get back probably in march maybe sooner i don't know all right let's see where we go let's see where we go no keep shuffling okay I do what I'm told here. I do what I'm told. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oopsie. Okay. Tower. You saw a couple of these wanted to jump out. Sun and King of Pentacles. I feel like some of you might be holding on to a situation that's really too small for you. And um, you are going to be connected with either a Leo or an Earth sign. Uh, you're going to be made to feel so much better. This is v tremendous stability based on happiness. And anything that's not based on happiness is going to get blown up. Okay? So you know yourself in your life when you have something that's based on a choice you've made. And maybe that choice, maybe you need to make a new choice now. Uh, but there is a tower coming through here. Seven of Cups, Six of Wands, Page of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, brand new beginning. Three of Cups, been seeing that a lot. Woo, Four of Pentacles, yeah. Ten of Cups, Moon, Ten of Swords. Okay. Um, some of you are in relationships that are not suited anymore for you, or you're in some kind of connection that is no longer viable, okay? It's no longer part of your future. It's no longer part of where you're going. And I feel like for a while there might have been a lot of confusion seven of cups but you're overcoming that feeling inspired all right this could be this leo full moon energy but also the um the mars and venus conjunction which will last us into march okay that's gonna march is gonna be kind of a big deal just saying okay and then in april there's more stuff going on that i'll talk about with the great awakening so that's gonna be um a different kind of big deal but this is about a uh, twin flame big deal. And it does feel to me like somebody who's a friend becomes more, okay? Somebody who you think of as a friend or you have met through friends or something like that becomes more. Some of you are holding back, all right? You know this is true. When I say this, is, when I say this you go like, uh, 
because you don't want it to be true or you don't want to hurt somebody or something like that. And so there's a lot of holding back, four of pentacles. If this is the other person, they definitely know, um, but, but there's a lot of confusion and a lot of fear around this connection. And for some reason, you know, like it's inappropriate in terms of this is a friend of a, the family or it's not in terms of age, okay? Um, you may think it's inappropriate, like this person's 10 years older or 10 years younger, but they are of age, okay? This is not about, <laughs> this is not about that. Um, this has to do with someone kind of feeling like it would be a betrayal of some sense to go toward this person. There's the Ten of Swords. They're, even though this is a twin flame, they're afraid that it's going to be seen as a betrayal uh, by somebody, all right, by somebody. It looks like there's a couple of people involved here, and this person who's being given this opportunity could be you, could be the other person, but they're, they're definitely trying to hold on to the past, which is why this tower is showing up over here. And we're getting the sun and king of pentacles. The, the holding on is simply because they're afraid of hurting someone else or they're afraid what they're going to do is going to be looked at as a betrayal. All right, so that's why they're holding on. But this is a very powerful connection. So let me clarify the Ten of Swords down here. And there's that full moon in Leo. I talked about Leo energy and then the full moon here. Ace of Wands, King of Cups, Chariot, and the Star. All right, so this is a healing heart kind of a situation. Passionate, yes, but more about healing the heart. Um, this is interesting because we have the sun and the moon here. When we have a full moon, what a full moon means is just in very basic astronomical terms is that the moon and the sun are in opposition. That's why they're in the opposite sign. So when you had the new moon, we had the new moon in what? In Aquarius, right? And now we have the full moon in Leo. It's the opposite sign and it's in direct opposition. And so I feel like that's kind of the energy of this. The full moon is <laughs> the full moon is also about release. Like we finally come to some kind of um, place where we're going to release something, and then that makes space for something new to come in. So something is being released. What's being released here? What's being released here? Knight of Swords, Four of Wands, Eight of Swords, Strength, more Leo energy. Okay, so I feel like uh, the person who is afraid of their actions being a betrayal or they're afraid of hurting someone else, I feel like they're in a situation that has a lot of fighting going on um, or has a lot of willful blindness going on. Like this was maybe just a flirtation that grew into some kind of stable, committed relationship but there's not the underpinning of the feelings, okay? There's a lot of monkey mind going on here, a lot of thinking, you know, what is happening in this connection, lots of monkey mind going on, and it does feel a little bit to me like this person is moving on um, from another uh, relationship, and there's definitely romantic feeling at the base of why they're moving on, definitely a romantic feeling. I do feel like um, if this person can get over the feeling of betrayal or I don't want to betray anybody, this is a very heart healing connection if they can make it so, all right, if they can make it so. Um, I see Leo here, um, Leo, Pisces, Aquarius, and Cancer. I don't see any earth energy here around this King of Pentacles. I, I feel like that makes me that makes me feel like it's about stability because we have the Ace of Pentacles here, and the Four of Pentacles is like, okay, a little stable, not a lot stable, and and not a lot happy, just okay happy, like it's fun and like this old relationship that they're leaving is fine. And if there was any logic to the <laughs> English language, that fine would be a four-letter word. Um, so I, I think that that's like, it's not that that person's settled, but I do feel like you have an opportunity here. This person's gonna have to work this out for themselves. And I don't really feel like there's anything for you to do. I feel like your job is to shine your light, 
Let me ask about the message from the ancestor here. Allow your work to become your art. Pay attention to your work. Pay attention to what you're doing. Message from the ancestor here. Ace of Wands. I got that down here too. Two of Wands. Knight of Swords. Wow. King of Cups. Um, I feel like the answer is the uh, ancestor is saying to you that this person has a choice. And because I get Knight of Swords over here, and I feel like this is tight and shut down, this feels open. The King of Cups here feels open to me. That, you know, once this decision is made, whoosh, like it's almost like things happen fast. This person, I feel like, is going to choose you. It's a very healing connection. Okay, so for some reason, these readings this week have been less just about the spiritual path and more about um, a partner or more about a love relationship. But I do feel like this has something to do with Twin Flame because the Ten of Cups is here. Twin Flame and the Empress are my two Twin Flame cards. So we'll see about that in the extended, whether the Empress comes up. Um, Aquarius, Cancer... Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Leo. Lots of Leo. Okay. All right. I'm going to continue on with this reading. Link is below. I will um, I'll see you over there. If you're part of Pathfinders, rest of the reading starts right now.